Do you ever notice how older people tend to be wiser? Or how they somehow always know the right decision that you should make? That's because they've seen and learned so much along the way. Some argue that some lessons can only be learned after many years of living. But what if that isn't the case? What if you could have all that wisdom right now? If you clicked on this video, chances are that you're interested in learning some of these lessons. So make sure you watch it to the end to get a few nuggets of wisdom that could change your life forever. So give this video a thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, let us get down to it. Everyone has learned a few life lessons in their lifetime. Whether it's from a friend or relative, teacher, writer, author, or some random person, these words of wisdom can help us maneuver our way through life. We also learn so many lessons directly as we travel and gain real-world experience. Some lessons are learned the hard way, while others are learned more easily. But regardless of how we learn them, life's lessons are a significant part of our identities. Let me introduce you to seven life lessons that can teach you how to lead a successful and fulfilling life. Number one, being kind to yourself. Many people often pursue perfection even without realizing it. In the process, they scold themselves for every failure, constantly expect more from themselves, and feel terrible for taking a break. But we're all human, and expecting perfection is unrealistic. If you are fond of doing this, you are setting a harmful and unachievable standard for yourself, and this will result into failure. Sure, it's always important to work hard and do your best, but that doesn't mean you should lose sight of your humanity. You'll need breaks, and you'll fail from time to time, which is fine. If you have a habit of being too harsh on yourself, it might be hard to imagine showing yourself kindness. And practicing it might feel weird, strange, or fake. Even so, you must learn to be gentle and kind to yourself. So, how can you go about that? That's an excellent question. Well, you can take days off to do things you enjoy. Always build yourself up with positive compliments. Comfort yourself after disappointments. Forgive yourself for mistakes. And most importantly, be empathetic to yourself. Furthermore, you need to remember that the thoughts and words that come into our minds often manifest in our lives. So, you have to become conscious of your self-limiting assumptions and habits. Carefully choose the words you want to say about yourself deliberately and understand that your words have meaning. Such soothing affirmations can help you navigate this confusing life with ease. So always keep in mind that you deserve to feel worthy and feeling worthy begins with yourself. Number two. Failure is a learning experience. Some of the most difficult lessons we learn in life are from our failures. Whether it's not getting the grades you wanted, being unsuccessful in a job application, relationship problems, or a general setback, know that failure is a necessary and normal part of life. While making a huge mistake may not feel like a good learning opportunity at that time, it actually is. You are unlikely to learn or grow if you do not make mistakes. After all, Life is all about falling down and getting back up, even when it's challenging, and especially when it's the last thing you wish to do. In life, every single mistake and perceived failure strengthens you. It provides you with new information, boosts your intelligence, and ensures that you will not make the same mistake again. A recent study revealed that those who take risks are smarter than those who don't, so don't let fear of failure hold you back. Don't let it keep you from taking chances. In fact, leave your comfort zone and take risks as often as possible, even though there are chances that you will fail. Constantly being in a safe, familiar environment, which is basically your comfort zone, can destroy you. We are all aware that nothing comes easy, so if you want to accomplish something in your life, you must step out of your normal routine, try new things, and put yourself to the test. Also, learn to accept each mistake and reflect on the lesson it has taught you, and actively apply it in your life. Then move on. Do not let your mistakes weigh you down. They are designed to teach you and help you in progressing to the next level of your life. Lastly, you must understand that there is no one-size-fits-all path to success. Your best option is to forge your own path, and in the process you are bound to make mistakes. However, if you react positively and continue to learn and grow, you will eventually achieve your goals. Number 3. Gratitude is Key in positive psychology research, gratitude is often strongly associated with greater happiness. Adding that, it helps people to feel more positive emotions, enjoy positive experiences, improve their health, deal with difficult situations, 
and form strong relationships. It is always important to be grateful for what you have. Most people often make the mistake of focusing on what they don't have or what they wish they had, so much that they completely ignore how fortunate they are. There is always something to be thankful for in life, whether it's good health, a job, family and friends, good memories, the ability to afford basic needs, or anything else. There is no shortage of what to be grateful for in your life. This kind of optimistic thinking is not just for show. It can make you happier and even increase your chances of success. Of course, making it a daily habit can be difficult, but you can start small. For instance, you could always make it a point to end your day by listing three things you're thankful for. Before you know it, you'll soon notice that there are good things all around you that you're grateful for. Number 4. Live in the present All too often, we get caught up constantly worrying about the past or the future. Many of us often walk around with emotional baggage from the past. We dwell on old news, and this prevents us from moving forward. I mean, thinking about all your worries from the past is a sure way to guarantee they will always haunt you. On the other hand, some people are overly concerned about the future. They are constantly worried about making the wrong decision and ending up in a bad situation because they did not plan properly. This fear of failure is doom in itself. There is nothing wrong with planning for the future. In fact, it is advisable to always plan ahead. But it becomes dangerous when you overthink it and constantly obsess over imaginary situations that might not even happen. The key to living a more positive life is living in the present. Worrying is unnecessary and will prevent you from living your best life. The past is history and the future is uncertain. The only thing you can control right now is how you think and behave and how you spend your time. Shut the door on the past. Take in what you've learned, apply it to your current situation, and never look back. It won't be long before the present becomes the past as well. So instead of dwelling on the past, take time to reflect on it and think about the future without worrying. Concentrate on the present moment, the people around you, and where you are in life. It won't last forever, so take advantage of it while you can. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel to get instant notifications whenever we upload new videos. Now let's get back to the lessons people take a lifetime to learn. Number 5. Procrastination will hold you back. We often joke about procrastination, but did you know that it can harm your chances of a better future? This habit can prevent you from making the right decisions and living the life you've always imagined. Many of us often fall victim to procrastination. In fact, according to Piers Steele, a researcher and speaker, 95% of us procrastinate to some extent. While it may be reassuring to know that you're not alone, it can be devastating to realize just how much it affects us. Recent studies have shown that people regret the things they did not do, more than the things they did. Adding that such feelings of remorse associated with missed opportunities tend to remain with them much longer. At times, all of our opportunities appear to be at our fingertips, but we can't seem to grasp them. So, when we procrastinate, we lose time that could be spent on something more meaningful. As a result, you will have to put in more effort to make up for the lost time, and this will also seriously slow down your progress. Furthermore, when you procrastinate, you rush to complete a task, which results in substandard work. This is because you are giving that task your bare minimum, rather than your best effort. And if you think what you create when you procrastinate is satisfactory, just imagine what you can do with a little more time and effort. Lastly, time is a very valuable asset, and you should learn how to manage it well. This will give you a much better sense of control over your life. You'll be surprised at how much more you can accomplish and how significantly your work quality will improve when you stop procrastinating. So how can you achieve this? First, you need to list down all your tasks and prioritize them based on their significance and urgency. Always ensure that you complete a task before moving on to the next. Most importantly, be disciplined and avoid distractions. If you can overcome this vicious habit, you'll be able to achieve more and make better use of the opportunities that life provides. Number 6. Actions speak louder than words. Even though many of us have probably heard this common saying countless times, fully understanding this statement can take years. One of the most important skills in life is realizing that what someone does is profoundly more important and shows their intentions and feeling more clearly than what they say. So often we tend to believe other people's promises and lies as well as our own. We tolerate mistreatment on a regular basis and choose to believe the words that promise it will never happen again. We promise ourselves that we're going to transform our lives, complete our education, get healthier and make even more money, but we never do. The words provide temporary comfort, but they are meaningless unless accompanied by appropriate action. So be true to your words, 
but trust everyone else based on their actions instead of their words. Number 7. Happiness takes hard work. Do you want to know why so many of us are unhappy? Why you find it hard to feel good about yourself? Why you can't seem to find lasting happiness? The answer is simple. It's because many of you expect happiness to come to you without any effort on your part. Unfortunately, this is not how it works. The people you see around you who appear to be happy have put in a lot of effort to get there. They've worked on themselves and improved to the point where they're content with their lives. Happiness in most cases is something to choose. To obtain it, you must want it and be committed to working for it. You must let go of your pride or ego and embrace the various lessons you will most likely learn along the way. Life is all about learning and growing. True happiness and contentment can only be found through continuous growth and personal improvement. So make the most of your one and only life. In conclusion, life is all about learning and growing. Though it can be difficult at times, learning these lessons that most people take a lifetime to understand may help you live your life to the fullest while making fewer mistakes along the way. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you found the content helpful, do give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't. With that said, have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one.